If this doesn't look much like a fun way to spend New Year's Day, don't rush tomorrow. Lower petrol prices will be here for a while yet. The average litre of unleaded hasn't been this cheap since 2009. So how much are motorists saving? That's about 10, 15 pounds per tank. I don't know, so it's cheaper. Put 40 pounds in, it used to go up just before half a tank. Now it's almost three quarters of a tank. So there's a difference for me, what I notice. If you drive away from the pumps tomorrow with a smile on your face, it's not so much the supermarkets you've got to thank as the wider global economy. US shale oil production means there's far more oil around and also less of it being consumed than people thought there'd be a year ago because countries like China are slowing down. That surge in shale oil production has thrown a decades-long trend into reverse. The US no longer needs to pay so much for oil from the Middle East or Russia when it's producing far more of its own bringing prices down across the world. The key issue we've had with uh, the oil price this year has actually been the amount of production, but also the, the level of demand as well, which has been remarkable when you consider all the nervousness has been in geopolitical areas, such as what's been happening in the Middle East, what's been happening in Ukraine and other areas. Since June, the oil price has dropped from more than $111 a barrel to a low today of less than 56. That's a fall of 50%. But petrol has fallen far more slowly, from a peak of £1.31 a litre to as little as 108 today, a fall of just 18%. Oil may be down, but tax rates on petrol aren't. For the next few weeks and certainly uh, months, one can see the prices hovering around the pound a litre mark because that is where crude oil is going to keep them. But thereafter, later next year, one can see prices going up. If you do want to capture that falling price tomorrow, mind where you stop. A number of retailers aren't slashing prices just yet. Andy Verity, BBC News.